One thing that really changed my life was listening to Pastor Ivor Myers. That's, that's the first time I heard about the blueprint that God has left us and which is the sanctuary. You know, the sanctuary, it's something that teaches us everything that God wants us to do and even shows it shows how Jesus was baptized and you know that the redemption, health reform, dress reform, a lot of stuff. And so when it comes to modesty, it really shows us even more of how God wants us to treat ourselves, how God wants us to draw our lines, you know, because there is also a question where do you draw your line as a girl, you know, when it comes to an opposite sex? We're gonna take a look at it when it um, with this analogy of the sanctuary. When I learned this, you know, it really taught me a lot and it helped me realize more of how important it is for us to really, really, really understand that God loves us and that we have to honor Him a lot with our bodies. Our bodies is the temple of Christ and and so we are his princesses. So so let's take a look at this. So in the sanctuary, if you're not too familiar with it, so here's a picture of it. This was used in the Old Testament for the Jews to for, that was a way for the people of God, you know, the Israelites to forgive themselves. This was also a way of doing a small representation of what the cross will mean. I'm gonna bring out another video of explaining more of the sanctuary and more detailed, but right now we're gonna focus on modesty. So the courtyard. The courtyard was a place where a lot of people could go in, you know, and especially um, when someone wants to make a sacrifice or, you know, the water was there so they can wash their hands. Um, and so that was a place where a lot of people can go and and so let's look at it in a way that those are friends friends that see you friends that are not close to you you know people that you meet and you're like hey what's up and you know you don't really know each other much but you know of each other and and so and outside the sanctuary could be the people that you you don't even know you know and so, so there we have it, you know, so people you don't know at all and people that you know but you're not close to them almost at all. And so, and so that means, you know, how do you want them to see you when you're dressed? And then we go to the next part which is the um, holy place. The holy place is where the priest um, would go. This is, this is a place where not just anybody can go in and that, that would mean that that could be your close friends, your best friends, your family, relatives, probably the people that probably saw you on your pajamas, you know, because you don't really want everybody to see you in your pajamas or all messed up, you know, whenever someone acts on your door, you want to go run quickly and do whatever you can to at least look a little bit presentable. So these are the people though that probably saw you once in a while, a little messy and so so we have that is the holy place and the most holy place only the high priest can go in this is the part that touched my heart because this is the place where only your husband can go, can go in because in the most holy place it could be even when you're courting a man when you're courting a man you're not yet showing them your most holy place you're just in the holy place but once you're married that person goes here um, in the sanctuary only the high priest could go there that could be your husband only your husband only the one that god had intended for us to be with can go in there so that speaks volumes of how us girls have to take care of each other and how valuable we are how much we mean to god that he compared that we can be compared to the most holy place we are his treasure in the most holy place they had the ten commandments they had the ark in the most holy place they had the most valuable things that is how we have to treat ourselves so 
So I just wanted to share that with you, just to, so you can have a thought and an understanding of how we have to dress. You know, I can't tell you dress like this or like that. Only God can. Only God can reveal that to you. And ultimately, it's your choice. Uh, God bless you a lot. And I encourage you to keep getting closer and closer to Him. And, and I motivate you to search more in His Word of who this amazing God is and and what he's telling us as sisters to do better in our lives and, and stuff like that. And this message I think also goes to guys, you know, and men, you know, nowadays we see men wearing things that are very different and and so men also have to treat themselves like they are the most holy place, they are our leaders, they're the ones that will guide a family. And so it is so important for them to also take care of themselves for only that one person that God has for them. And and the man has to be careful too, because I know that the priest had to be very careful when he would as he would enter to the most holy place. And and so it's very important for you men, the, the high priest, to really have a connection with God, to really carefully know how to do things step by step, to not hurt that most holy place, to not hurt that girl, to really take care of her like gold. And so, yeah, anyways, so that is going to be on a courtship video that I'll probably make soon. Alrighty guys, bye, God bless.